What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all set today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, baby. And smack that dope bell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off. I'm going to play catch you at the end, baby. Let's While go. holding her baby, Brittany, that funeral was for a woman found shot to death last week while holding her baby. Brittany, we are live downtown with the breaking details. And Brittany, what have you learned at this hour? Well, Chris, friends, family, and loved ones, they were just trying to mourn and say their final goodbyes when they were paralyzed by the sound of gunfire. The shooting, it happened this afternoon on East 126th Street, right outside the Mount Olives Missionary Baptist Church. Take a look at this video. This is from inside a Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church Friday afternoon during Demisha Wright's funeral. Her best friend reading her eulogy when a shot rang out. You can see people afraid and running for their lives. According to police, one man was shot during a possible robbery. He was taken to university hospitals. We spoke to Congresswoman Chantel Brown, who was at the funeral when the shooting happened. She says these shootings have to stop. It breaks my heart to be in the midst of a funeral service for a 23-year-old that died from gun violence to have the service disrupted only by more gun violence. Demisha Wright was shot just last week inside of her own home on 185th Street. The issue is the gun violence, people being able to carry freely without any type of training. This is a prime example of elections having real life consequences. On The issue is the gun violence, people being able to carry freely without any type of training. This is a prime example. Brown also released a statement saying, my heart breaks for everyone who endured today's assault while memorializing the life and violent loss of a loved one. People should at least be able to attend a funeral in peace. Mayor Bibb also released a statement after today's shooting saying this must stop. We are deploying every single possible resource and officers are working around the clock every day throughout the city to combat crime. However, says these shootings have to stop. It breaks my heart to be in the midst of a funeral service. For a 23-year-old shot just last week inside of her own home on 185th Street. The issue is the gun violence, people being able to carry freely without any type of training. This is a prime example of elections having real life consequences on our community. Right, Congresswoman Brown I'm also released a statement saying, man, my heart breaks for everyone. You know, man. You know uh, man. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. It seems like, <laughs> are you trying to rob a person out of front of them? You know what I'm saying? It, it, <laughs> it seems like, man, like, this world, not this world, the people that's living in God's world, it just seems like, man, when we going to realize that we got to help and save one another. When we're going to realize that if we stick behind one another, right, it's great things ahead of us. But as long as we don't stick by each other, it's a lot of bad things ahead of us because you find the good people, you find the all right people, and you find the bad people. You feel what I'm saying? The all right people, they can turn into that bad person. You feel what I'm saying? But the ones that's bad, right, they continue on going to be bad or crash out for the rest of their life until they get behind that system when they can't never touch down no more. You feel me? It seems like we can't never, ever stick together. We can't never reunite each other. We can't never get close to each other. Because it seems like it's a bad vibe against our own black people. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand why people want to talk about coaches, this, coaches, that, coaches, that, right? I'm going to tell y'all something, man. We got some evil people, bad people, misceptive people in our culture, man. 
And it seemed like certain people can adapt to black people. Certain people don't want to reunite themselves around black people because they feel like something going to go wrong. But then when you exit yourself around them, right, and they catch you hanging around Puerto Rican, Cubans, or white folks more, you hang around them, right? Guess what they want to do? They want, they'll say that, oh, you think you better than me? No, I ain't thinking you better than me. It's just the reaction that we get from our own black people. You feel me? It's bad enough that we get a reaction from different culture. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't got to be no simple color. Different culture, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody catch it. You feel me? Different culture catch it from other people that's in different culture. You feel what I'm saying? It's like we ain't going to never win. We ain't going to never win, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But that girl, the other girl, she 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 ran. I mean, she just heard that shot and she just looked and she just broke out and the oven went down below. The other girl, I think she was in that stage of stuck because she was hurting and she couldn't run right then. But she was the last one leaving. You know what I'm saying? That Oh, she was the last one leaving it. Like, I'm like, is she going to duck or run or what? You know what I'm saying? That girl heard one shot. Bah, that girl. They went to running. You feel what I'm saying? One thing you got to understand, people don't understand. When you hear gunshots, right, the best thing for you can save your life, don't run up straight up running like this here. Oh, you get low and you crawl. If you hear one shot, hit the ground. When you hit the ground flat, then you can better look up while you're on the ground flat, moving around, turn around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like them turtles be doing, turn around. They, you know what I'm saying? They bail on their shed be turn around. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Don't never run up straight up. I'm telling you, you run straight up, a bullet might not have your name on it, but by you standing straight up running, that bullet ain't got no eyes. It don't have no brain. Once it leave that barrel, the muzzle, it's gone. It's a dummy. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell y'all something. It seemed like now nah, it's getting the way that Fruno used to go to Fruno just to, to cheer everybody. Fruno supposed to be like joy, laughter, you know what I'm saying, memories and all that. Now, nah, you can't really go to Fruno no more because people take it aside. They said because they want to be a dummy and they want to be a copycat because now nah, they hear about people shooting up Fruno. Guess what? Everybody else want to shoot up a Fruno. Back in my days, you couldn't more come from, shoot up no from You feel what I'm saying? They're like they had police on the outside, inside. Oh, you know, me, I'm from Dade County. You know what I'm saying? When you're in Dade County, man, Dade County always had a set of program on the outside and inside. They always had the police. You feel what I'm saying? But now these days, like, people don't care if the police there or not. You feel me? It ain't no respect no more when somebody dead and gone, even though. That person that's dead don't know what you're doing. But at the same time, you got people that are grieving. So they know. You feel what I'm saying? Let them take the time out to themselves and see how they can heal from a lot of things. You feel what I'm saying? Some people just can't heal from that because every time people are going to be scared to go to a funeral now. You know what I'm saying? Man. Some of these people just living in the world, man, they just don't care. They, they just don't care. That's why I'm going to tell you something. I know I'm not saved all the way. I, I know I'm not, right? But my, my, my mentality, by me, by me, I'm from Miami. You know what I'm saying? I never, ever be getting comfortable. I can't get comfortable. I don't, because the reason why I don't get comfortable because I don't been like everybody else. I don't been shot at. I don't been doing my, you feel what I'm saying? But that's why I don't get comfortable. I don't care where I'm at. I do not get comfortable. I don't care if I'm getting out going to the store. I'm not comfortable. I'm going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how it is in Dead County. You got to be like this here. You be slipping if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Man, your, man, your head baby be spinning around like that, that lady on the exit. You feel what I'm saying? Man, look here. You better be on your P's and Q's. That's why I tell a lot of people. It's glad to be paranoid. Paranoid will keep you safe. You feel what I'm saying? Especially if you out in the box. Stay paranoid. What's wrong with paranoid? People think because oh, you paranoid, boy. You scared. Oh, girl, you scared. No. It's about watching out for yourself because you got certain people that's not going to watch out for you like you're going to watch out for yourself. You feel me? You got to save you. You got to protect yourself. 
You feel me? Because, man, most people is not. They can say who the woo 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 at the same time, man. They ain't worried about you. Play with it if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Your life is in your own hand when you out and about. Even though you ain't trying to get, like, get out and about, then something you have to, you just never know. You just never know. You know what I'm saying? Trouble will invite themselves your way. It's up to you to avoid that. Because the devil will send somebody your way and see if you're going to, you know what I'm saying, buck on a certain level. You feel what I'm saying? See, you're going to get active. You know what I'm saying? See, you really changed your life, but you didn't. You feel me? The devil always moved, man, a different way. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, man? That's why I don't go out. I never hanged out. I probably went to buy, I ain't going to lie to you, I probably went to buy 15 clubs, you know what I'm saying, out of my whole lifetime. I never revolved myself around a club. Never. But this young lady got shot in her own house, man, by, ho by holding her baby. You feel what I'm saying? These, whoever did this to this young lady, they are poor excuse for a human being, man. Poor excuse for a human being, man. You know what I'm saying? Why she holding her baby? Man, what this world coming to, man? You know what I'm saying? Good, this got zipped up last week. Now they trying to have a, a nice fruit. You know what I'm saying? It, it just ain't no love, people. You know what I'm saying? It just ain't no love. Ain't no love. Just ain't. You know what I'm saying? Love is out there, but the way they loving you now, they loving you as the devil way. When you somebody love you as the devil way, that means they going to zip you up. You know what I'm saying? It got to be love as God tells us to love one another. Then we can all stick together. Right now, only love you're going to get out there in this world is devil love. And I stand on that. You know what I'm saying? So on this note, my good people, that's the end. I'm going to scratch that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that dough bill for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God free, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be safe out there, baby. You heard me? I'm gone from y'all, man. I'm gone.